I wouldn't consider myself as greedy, guys. Well, I'm always eating and I'm always hungry, but other question was I am single and Hey guys, welcome back to Marla's World. If you're new here, welcome to Marla's World and don't forget to subscribe. So guys, in this video, I will be talking about, well, answering you or addressing your assumptions about me. So I basically posted on Instagram and I asked my followers to send me things they assume about me. So I will be answering and addressing them in this video. So stay tuned. So I am just going to start with a random question, no particular order. So I got a lot of questions or assumptions that I'm greedy. No, I'm not greedy. But anyways. Um, you're judgy. I wouldn't consider myself as judgy. Like, I feel like in today's world, like, all the words just get, like, a new meaning. Because being judgy, it, like, if you know something is wrong and you do it, like, and I say that's wrong, that's not being judgy, but, like, or judgmental, but to somebody else, they would consider it that. And so, like, it's like totally different like they're saying you're judgy when you're not honestly like judgy so I don't know some people might consider me judgy while others might not like yeah um you assume that I love Jamaica more than America well to be honest so each country has its pros and cons and I would say like if I was still in Jamaica, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today. So for that, I'm like really grateful. But also like in Jamaica, I definitely miss my friends, my family, the beach, the food, of course, the most definitely more than anything. I definitely miss the food. So yeah, there's that. Um, you assume I would marry ice cream if I could. And that is most definitely, definitely correct. Cause ice cream is my true love. I'm sorry, like ice cream is really my true love. I'm obsessed with ice cream, and now it's eggnog season. Listen, guys, eggnog ice cream from Baskin Robbins. Remember, I put y'all on because, honey, that is amazing. Um, you assume that I am a nerd, and. No, I wouldn't consider myself a nerd at all. Like, I mean, I do love school and I do miss school, but like, I'm not a nerd. Like, nerds, like, be in their books and stuff. Like, even when I was in school, I wasn't in my books like that. Like, I'm just a good test taker. I'll just be reading or, like, I also learn by teaching people. So, like, I'll just be talking to people. And because I'm an auditory learner, so, like, I remember stuff. And that's all I got through college. Yeah, so you help somebody, and by helping people, you help yourself too. So you never. Know. Well, that's just me, anyways. Um. You assume that I am sketchy. No, I'm not sketchy. Like, what? Like, no, 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 no. I'm not sketchy at all. That makes no sense. But anyways, no, I'm not sketchy. Um. Another assumption is that I'm rich. I would not consider myself as rich at all like in Jesus most definitely cuz to Jesus I'm his princess of course I'm rich but like in this world no I want to win the lot so bad but you know what guys I don't gamble because you know like, y'all not gonna take my heart earned money and like just gonna lose it like that I rather buy ice cream no um you assume I've always wanted to be a model and that's true and that's also not true at the same time like there are pros and cons to being a model right like i wouldn't feel comfortable like just dressing up all the time like the way people wanted me i wouldn't feel comfortable like being in bikini like all the time like i wouldn't want to do that but i did want it to be a model i remember <laughs> i remember i recorded myself like i was modeling this bikini and i sent it to tyra banks for america's next stop model that's funny like you should see the video but obviously i'm not, I'm not gonna show you that's my blackmail video like no it's like really bad <laughs> like i love tyra so much i used to watch 
America's Next Top Model like all the time. Probably that's why she asked me this. But yeah, like I really liked it and I liked America and I liked Tyra and I wanted to be on that show. But always no. I've had agencies like hit me up in my inbox and I was like, no, no thank you. So um that I don't like fat. Um, if you're fat or you know, like I'm not gonna discriminate against fat people like no but if you if you're fat and you call me skinny best believe I'm gonna tell you you're fat because listen don't be talking about me and I don't be talking about you because if you want to state the obvious then like we could do that we could both do that how about that you know but like mm -mm. and I don't like fat on my meat yeah let's just say yeah um somebody assume I'm greedy bad um so th that's one assumption um yeah enough well that's the definite um i got another one that i don't eat so i'm gonna just adjust all three at once so that i don't eat that's partially true it all depends like sometimes i'm super happy when i'm super happy i eat a lot like a lot i mean a lot <laughs> yeah yeah did i say a lot yeah <laughs> and then like other times i'm like okay like people have to literally tell me to eat like like they'll be calling me and be like did you eat and i'm like yeah i did eat <laughs> okay and then um that many i'm not um i guess like that's debatable like like i said it all depends on my mood like how i'm feeling i remember going to jamaica like last year in may and i, I went to an all-inclusive hotel for two nights and while I was there, guys, I just kept eating. I was eating nonstop. I would go to the jerk pork place, the jerk chicken place. Like, I was eating all the time. Ice cream, hot dog, like, all that stuff. Like, oh, I mean, why not? You're paying for it. And then I was so mad because after those two days, I literally got so sick. And then, like, I wasn't able to eat mangoes as much as I wanted to. I wasn't able to eat things that I really wanted to the way I wanted to because... I was so sick because I over ended those first two days of being there. Um, you assume that I'm photogenic? Definitely. <laughs> yes, I think I'm really photogenic. Um, I can't dance. No, I cannot dance. But I'm always dancing though. I'm always dancing like in the store. So it's like embarrassing. If you come out with me, you're going to be embarrassed. Just be prepared, especially if you're going to a store. I'll be doing my little dance in the store, and I, I don't be caring what nobody says because I just don't be caring what people think. Like it, most times, most times, yeah. Um, you like wearing makeup? To be honest, I do and I don't at the same time. Like, I like doing it for photo shoots and stuff like that. But like on a regular, no, I cannot find myself. I cannot find myself just getting up every morning, doing my makeup work and things like that. It's just not something I would ever do. Like, it's just too much work. I don't have time for that. Like, and also, when I wear makeup, it makes me really tired. I don't know why, but it just does. Like, it just makes me really, really tired. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, now I got makeup on, I want to sleep. So, yeah. Um, you assume that I like to ride cows and donkeys um i don't remember riding a cow ever i think i may i may have been on a donkey before in jamaica like when i was like a very young child but i don't quite remember for sure but i wouldn't say i like it because i've never really done it so yeah, there's that um you assume i eat french fried roaches <laughs> listen no why would i do that honey <laughs> No, of course not. I'm not gonna eat no fry, French fried roaches. Like roaches, like that's bottom feeder, you know? Like, no, I'm not gonna eat that at all because like it's disgusting. So, no. Um, I have two left feet. That's like saying you can't dance in Jamaica. I already said that I cannot dance. <laughs> but, um, yes, somebody says you agreed about like I said, guys, it all depends on how I'm feeling. I'm an emotional eater sometimes. Like, not in a bad way. Well, it can be. It all depends. Um. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody assume that I love my husband. Mm, 
bitch i love my ex soon to be ex-husband yeah um somebody assumed that i hate my mother-in-law you mean monster-in-law well actually i do not hate her she hates me you know the bible said you should love and forgive so like i'm not gonna go around carrying it in my heart for nobody i mean i don't like her but like i don't hate her you know like I don't have time to, like it takes a lot of energy to hate somebody and that's what people don't understand like I don't hate her I just don't like her because she partially ruined my marriage um somebody says or assume you would faint if you see Gabriel Union um back in the days I probably would but not anymore but listen if I should see Yolanda Adams right now listen I'm gonna be on the floor because it's Yolanda Adams. Yolanda Adams is amazing. Her voice is absolutely beautiful. Like, I just love, love, love Yolanda Adams, like, so much. Like, she's just amazing. And I'm obsessed with her thing. She got me thinking, like, I got a daughter. Like, darling girl, listen to her song if you have a daughter. And play darling girl for them all the time. Like, it's just so amazing. But I really like this song, Takeaway. It's a very old song, but I've been feeling it a lot lately. So, yeah, check that out. <laughs> Um, what else I, let me see what else I got. Um, somebody assumed that I'm getting a divorce. So first of all, let me just say this. This is my last question to I assume, right? Yeah, I think so. This is my last question. First of all. I am not getting a divorce um, I am getting an annulment and no I don't want to talk about it so when you watch this video even though I answered it and it's none of y'all business I don't want nobody I don't care how close you think you are I don't want anybody messaging me or asking me about it period like I said what I said and that's all because like I'm not going to be adjusting it it's none of you guys business I'm grown I should do what I want obviously if I did that it's for the right reason because I really don't believe in divorce but like given the circumstances a monster-in-law all that other stuff like you guys don't know about it or need to know about yeah so just to answer your question I am single that was an assumption I think yeah that was also an assumption so yes I'm technically single but legally not yet because like the paperwork is still in progress so guys i don't want to talk about it so don't be messaging me if i didn't already tell you about it i don't want you messaging me about it let's put it that way so um yes guys that is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i really 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 do appreciate it guys um remember if you're new here thank you for being a part of the family and i hope you subscribe and stay <laughs> and stay tuned for my next video that's coming up on sunday and yeah and that's all i gotta say thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i love you guys i love all the support i've been getting so thank you guys and remember tell a friend tell a friend and <laughs> see i can't dance but yeah Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. And that, my friend, is a wrap. Bye, guys.